Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's Indiana Homes at California Adventure again on another beautiful summer day, celebrating the 100 years of wonder. So come along with me and let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Well, here we are. California Adventure is looking just stunning here on this wonderful summer day. I think uh, I need to get some food. I think it's getting close to dinner time. I haven't eaten today because I usually don't eat breakfast in the morning. And I like to just get through my day and enjoy everything until I actually get hungry. And so now I am in fact hungry. So I think that's where I'm gonna head off to right now. Let's find some food. No better place to find food than California Adventure. Turkey legs, yummy. However, I think I have something in mind over in San Francisco. So I'm gonna go check that out. And see what we've got going over there for food. Not too crowded today. Everything looks good. It's a beautiful day. Okay, there's the bakery tour. Ghirardelli Soda Fountain. Love their ice cream. Absolutely love it. But I need something more than ice cream today. I need some actual food. Ah, look, looks like all the scaffolding is gone from San Francisco. There we are. Proud home of the Nurasaki Emperor's Golden State Samurai. There's the bait and tackle, Wharfside Travel Agency. Got some nice Japanese characters there next to the bait and tackle sign. I do not read Japanese characters, so if any of you do, it would be awesome if you could put down in the comments what exactly that says over there. The education of the, the future of education is here. Open enrollment, San Francisco Institute of Technology, sfit.edu. I don't know. I don't think that's a real place, but maybe in San Francisco it is, right? Lucky Fortune Cookery, Cochina Cucamonga, Port of San Francisco Cerveza, and San Francisco Square Canning Company. Established 1928. Oh look, the bridge is now being worked on. You can see, usually I cross that bridge right there, because it kind of reminds me of the Golden Gate Bridge and a few other bridges. But you can see they've got a cherry picker, a couple cherry pickers there. I bet they're working on signage doesn't look like they've been doing any painting. So I bet they're gonna do some signage maybe tonight after the park is closed and they've just got the uh, they've just got the cherry picker stage there ready to go. Well that's pretty exciting. I'll be interested to see what kind of what type of signage they end up putting up there. Okay. So, we will take the other bridge, which is over here, next to the Lamplight Lounge, which I love. I might have to get some Lamplight food today to see what they have. Between that and tacos, just depends on if there's a, a big line or not. But being solo today, even if there is a uh, wait, I might get in quicker by being solo because I could sit and eat at the bar like I did last week. Coming across the bridge. People are having fun out there. All right, so here we are at Pixar Pier. And just beyond the Pixar Pier gate is the Lamp Light Lounge. Let's see if I can get myself a seat in here without any prior reservation. Hi guys, do you have room for one? Awesome. We have probably less than a 15 minute wait. Um, probably almost 
closer? Um, Sitting at the bar is good for me, because I'm solo. Okay, I've got my name in for the Lamplight Lounge. And now we will see how long it takes. Oh, look at that, see? You can see Luxo Jr. up there. I, I don't think I've quite noticed him before, but uh, if any of you are early fans of Pixar films, they made a series of short films, including Ten Toy, which was the short film that they presented to Disney so that Disney could see that they could do the kind of animation and the story that they liked. And that Ten Toy short was what got them Toy Story. But before all that, one of the very first things, if not the very first thing, that they animated was Lexo Jr., which is right up here. And Lexo Jr. was a short computer animation that preceded everything else that came uh, by way of Pixar. And uh, you can actually see Lexo Jr. Uh, as an animation in the Pixar um, opening credits of most films that they make. Yeah, already? Super. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, looks like we're going downstairs. Because I'm going to be seated at the bar, eat some bar food, which is fantastic here at the Lamplight Lounge. Maybe get myself a adult beverage. Hi, hi, Ian. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Here we are at the Lamplight Lounge, heading up to the bar to have a little late lunch, early dinner. Awesome. Fantastic, thank you so much. Okay, time to have an adult beverage here at the Lamplight Lounge. Amari. I have a golden Amari. ale. Amari. Amari. Ah, that's fantastic. That is really fantastic. So, I have ordered some potato skins, and as soon as they get here, I'll show you those, and then I will commence to consuming them. <laughs> They have these really cute coasters here that have all different Pixar characters on them. So when I pick up my beer here, you can see I've got one of the minions here. This is uh, Jeff. Can't read his name without my glasses. <laughs> but something like Jeff Etron or something. I don't know. I can't read it right now, but you'll be able to see it. Isn't that fun? And then when you leave, they usually give you uh, several of these coasters as well, which is really cool. Oh my! The potato skins have arrived and they look spectacular. I am going to be eating this all up all by myself. Yes, indeed. Let's take a bite and see what this tastes like. It looks pretty darn good. Mm. That is fantastic. I must say, these potato skins are very soft. Almost like mashed potatoes, but crunchy on the outside. Like, really good flavor. Um, they've got, obviously, cheese on them. Looks like a couple types of cheese. Uh, some green things. Some bacon. And they are cooked to perfection. I don't think I could do this at home. I know I couldn't do this at home, but I can eat it here. Well, I am just loving these potato skins here at the Lamplight Lounge. Uh, if you want something that's vegetarian, I guess you could get these, although you have to skip the bacon and the cheese. But uh, if you just want something that's yummy, without too much meat, potato skins are the way to go. Super great, super yummy. Well, that is it from the Lamplight Lounge. And I just had a fabulous early dinner, late lunch, 
here at the Lamplight Lounge. It was super yummy, but I could not finish it. I, I could not finish that. That was just too good. Oh, man. Uh, just about anything you order here seems like it is designed and created for two people. So, whether you're having the lobster nachos or the potato skins, it, uh, it seems like it's very difficult for one person to eat uh, one of these meals by themselves. This is neat. Look at this. Very cool. Okay. Bye guys, thank you.